Hello world, here's PT, your Bitcoin trading informant, your good old Bitcoin trading informant. What's going on with Bitcoin? Yesterday we saw a nice long, I made a stop loss, I am out of the trade. Where? Why? I will show you. I showed you this also yesterday, so please watch the video from yesterday. The big question is now, should we go in again and when? We will check this now together, let's go. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Here is coin market cap. Everything is bloody red. We have 18,135 crypto coins here in the market. Bitcoin dominance is going down 42.6%. And what can we see? Everything is going down, but Bitcoin is going down more as the altcoins. Bitcoin a minus about 7.4%. Ethereum is going down. The Binance coin is going down. XRP, Terra, Luna, Cardano. Every coin is going down. Every coin is red now, but Bitcoin is going down more a little bit as the altcoins. What is telling us? Quantify crypto. This is telling us, make a refresh here. It's better for us to see it a new refresh picture, but it is telling us we are going down. We are going slightly bearish. We are slightly bearish with Bitcoin, with Ethereum, with Binance coin and XRP. And if we are watching the top 20 coins, what coin is the biggest winner? Interesting. Biggest winner is XRP because it has a minus only about minus 0.2%, 2.4%. The biggest loser is Bitcoin. The biggest loser is Bitcoin with minus about 7.38%. And you can see bloody red. Everything is bloody red. Slightly bearish is Bitcoin, is Ethereum, is Binance coin and XRP also. So, okay, today it's not a good day. We had yesterday a better day. Today it's a good day if you are shorting Bitcoin. So let me check the next thing. What is going on with our candlestick patterns? And here is a little light. Here's a little light of the end of the tunnel because we saw here a nice candle, uh, a three outside up, a bullish reversal. These three candles are forming a three outside up bullish reversal with a high reliability. And this is the daily time frame. Guys, this is not bad. I know we are going down with this candle, but this is a really, really good bullish candle stick pattern the three outside up and that's the big thing what i'm watching now and that's why i'm trying to catch the bottom again so let me show you here on trading view it's not looking good okay on the day strong sell strong sell moving averages oscillators sell everything sell on the four hours sell strong sell two hours sell one hour sell only the week also the week is sell so everything is uh, showing us on trading view we should sell our Bitcoin, not a financial advice, guys. Now, let's go into this picture. This is the last picture from my, my video yesterday. Yesterday, it was a really nice analysis. I showed you my long position and I also showed you where is my stop loss. I will show you this soon. Guys, this is the daily time frame. And on a daily time frame, we are here in this triangle. Yesterday, I thought, okay, maybe we can go up to 45,000. But no, we went down really hard again and... Now you can see we are still fighting in this triangle on the daily time frame, and that's the big, big, big thing I'm watching. So let's check the Ichimoku. And guys, this is also not good to watch because we broke the Ichimoku to the downside. The blue line, the red line, everything, the nine lengths, the 26 lengths line, we broke both of these lines to the downside, and we have these lines once again as a resistance. Damn, guys, that's not so good. But I have to tell you this one. So, indicator, what's going on with our GDI Traders Dynamic Index? A little, a little bearish divergence. Yes, it's not so important in my opinion, but it is here, okay? Uh, what's going on next? We have, and that's the bigger thing, what I would like to show you, this is the middle line fight. We have on the Bollinger Band, if you're watching the GDI on the downside, the Bollinger Band, the orange line here, the middle line, and the RSI is directly now on the middle line, not overbought, not oversold, but it is fighting with this middle line. Maybe we see rejection to the downside, or... Maybe we can break it up to the upside. This would mean maybe we can break out of this damn triangle to the upside. And this would be a really nice next long position. But let me show you what happened yesterday. Yesterday, I showed you in my video, I'm in a long position. It was perfectly as, uh, as predicted. And I showed you guys, I will make a stop loss here on this point. Because on a 15 minute time frame, every candle is 15 minutes, we saw this lowest low yesterday. So this was a point I told you my stop loss will be under 46,000, uh, under 41,600, so maybe 41,590, something about this. And we saw a long time this support hold it. But in uh, at one o'clock after midnight, after midnight, we saw a bad, bad, bad dump to the downside. My stop loss worked. I am out of the trade. I put um, the stop loss here on, as I told you, 41,590. And I took my money from the long position. Everything is okay. 
now we can wait what's going on we have the money we have the thing everything is okay and now we can see and that's a reason why i'm making this video now I would like to show you on the 50 minute time frame we are building the next little triangle and that's maybe the next bottom hunting that's in my opinion a really really nice stuff to to hunt this maybe next bottom because it's a little triangle um yes of course a green line to the downside we should make it green yes and a red line to the upside it's the resistance downside support upside uh, resistance triangle 50 minute time frame i know it guys it's not an important time frame but we can use it maybe for hunting this bottom and it is still possible because we have a nice pattern uh, a nice um yes candlestick pattern uh it is possible to break out to the upside we are making higher lows we are still making higher lows here and that's not so bad so in my opinion i'm waiting now can we break out of this um triangle confirmed in a 50 minute time frame better confirmed on a one hour time frame but uh for me it's okay if we can see a breakout on the 50 minute time frame 15 minute time frame TDI and that's a little problem why yes we are not overbought not oversold but we see here and that's the good stuff guys a bullish divergence you can see it RSI is going up price is going slightly sideways a little bit to the downside and this is the bad thing we are if we're watching the Bollinger Band on the upper side of the Bollinger Band so that's really really important to watch and let's check the EMA ribbon band. And that's the next big thing to watch. The EMA ribbon band is our resistance. It's not helping us in the moment. It's not a support. No, it's a resistance. And we can see a lot of resistance here over us. A lot of these lines. We saw here a short signal. It was here nearly to this point where uh, my stop loss sold me out. And bam, to the downside here. We saw a fight with the EMA 200. Bam, we lost it. It was sleeping time for me. And now it is the next maybe bottom hunting for me if we can break out to the upside. But Ribbon Band is here. EMA 200 is here. Yes, of course, a lot of resistance. So guys, one hour time frame. Today I will make it under 10 minutes. I promise one hour time frame. We broke here also EMA 200 price about 40,000 attention. 40,000 important. And the Ribbon Band is turning into a red one. We have a short signal now. That's also really, really bad, guys. You see this one here. Short signal on the one hour time frame. And we lost we really lost and that's the next big big thing 39,600. it was a, so an important resistance after this it was and so an important support yes we lost it again yes Bitcoin did it again why it is so important i told you this on my last videos look here resistance here 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 so you can see a lot of spikes to this point this is the thing why this line on 39,600 is so important. And what did Bitcoin? We lost it again. Okay, we need to fight back again. Big thing. Um, a little long position here on the downside. If we can break the triangle, that's the next thing what I'm making. If we can, if we can break out again over 39,6, I will make again a bigger position. But we need to break out first. What happened here? Maybe it was a shoulder head shoulder. We broke it to the downside. But guys, it's not important. It's uh yesterday it, it happened yesterday and not in the future so we do not speak about this we must not speak about this so under 10 minutes guys i promised you this update that's the big thing what i'm waiting for uh i'm waiting to break out of the triangle i'm waiting to break 39600 and i will put more money in this trade if we will see this one if we will go down you know it we have a nice green line to the downside thanks for watching have a nice time greetings your spd your bitcoin trading information very important i'm not a financial advisor that's not a advice. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.